from the plane. Take two. Holy moly. They're trimming out with the bigger battery. It's acting different with a heavier battery. Wondering if I should put it at the nose or move it back. Yeah, it's acting different with the heavy battery. That's a 2200. I was using the smaller 15. Interesting. Come back over a click. It flies heavy. Uh, let's see what we can do. Sometimes when you have a little bit more weight, you can do different stuff better. Plus I don't want to overheat it. Try and keep it just above half throttle. Is that better? Click it. Two clicks to the left on the rudder. A little trim action for the stuff I do. We got here. Yeah, that helped. Oh, shut it off. Let it fall out of the air. There was no throttle. All right, back in the throttle. This is fun, man. A fun plane. You just have to adjust for each battery. I like the other smaller batteries personally, but maybe I just need to tinker around with this one a little bit more. I put it in the same spot in, where I put the other one, split it down the middle. Wonder if I should move it forward a little bit more or move it back over the wings. I'm going to try forward first and see what it does, and then I'll go from there. Yeah. It's not a race car, man. This thing ain't, it's not designed to do that. It's got a real light frame and like a torquey motor where, I don't know, like you see in, in them videos in the gymnasium, them slow flyers, sort of like that to the second degree. Anyways, yeah, I was surprised. These wings, the big main wings are hollow. They just got like a wrap around the outside. That takes away a lot of weight. And, uh, it just don't weigh nothing. I think the most weight on this plane are the tires I put on it. But that's okay. What a fun frickin' airplane. Uh, let's do some front ones. What we got here? Oh, you didn't like that. What do they do? What do they do? I don't know, I did something. Oh, I had it pegged out. You don't want to do that. You want to get it hot. Is it nimble? Yeah, it is. There's a forward. Let's do it again. Another forward. You got it? Woohoo! Ooh, listen to that motor. It's like shutting off going on. Wonder why it's oh, it's really cool. It's the way it adjusts. That's really neat. All right. Yeah, this was the uh, second time with this radio on low throws. It's a whole different bird. You can still do really cool stuff. But you want to do, probably want to do it on a day when there's absolutely no wind for this type of stuff. Okay, I trimmed it out again a little bit. Look at this. What a nice, what a nice rider.
hoping I'm catching all this. He got a weird angle on this hat. And I, I try to watch the plane exactly and point the camera too, so. I don't know, usually they're pretty good. I had to go up one click in order to catch the stuff when I go way up there. We'll see. I'll be putting these in the YouTube. You should listen to the motor. Reen, reen, reen. It's because I only have it. It's so, I don't know, like under a half throttle. And then when it, come, it comes down, it wants to spin. The motor cuts out. It's like reen, reen. It's really cool. Too shabby, folks. Fun little machine. The lower throws makes this thing a freaking blast. If you're not a good pilot and you have it on high throws like I did, you're probably going to crash. And that's not bragging, it's just it's practice. I always tell everyone I know learn on a, on a, uh, on a computer simulator. Once you could take off and land on the simulator and put wind in the whole nine yards so you understand the concept of how you have to take off in the air and land in the wind. Once you figure that out, you're ready to fly. And then the other trick is uh, once you get up in the air, go up. I don't know, about right there. I don't know, 100, 100, I don't know, 120 feet up there. And then if you make a boo-boo, you got time to, to correct it. When you're too low to the ground and you make a mistake, then you crash your shit and then you get disappointed and you want nothing to do with it. Don't go low like this. You want to be up there. Up there. So you can learn, like I said, to make boo-boos. When you make a boo-boo, then it's different. It's a whole nother, it's a whole nother ball game. All right, I'm going to bring her in. It's pretty windy and I've been going... It's nice that this battery. I'm hoping this battery is going to be like what I'm thinking, not barely anything. Let's see here. It's so windy. Let's see if I can slow it down. Come on, baby. Look at that. Just fell down. Oh, nice. That was a nice flight, man. The whole thing was cool. I just hope the video is as good. Like anything. The learning curve. Go Trump. <laughs>